Hey guys! Okay, so today, as you can tell from the title, um, uh, we are going to be feeding baby squirrels. I'm probably really excited. Um, and I have a guest with me, Savannah Marie. I'm wearing a huge overlap t-shirt, but I still agree with that. And my hair on top of my head because, let's be real, we're feeding squirrels. Don't think I had to curl my hair for this video. And it looks like my makeup is really good. Okay, the heat pad got hot. It's not like hot, too hot for them. Oh my god, they're getting body heat. Okay, so here's the story. My mom, we were about to pump out our tires so we can go to the store on our bikes. Um, and my mom happened to go out there to help us pump up the tires. And when she did that, she heard and saw the dog going towards this little squealing object ball of fur. And so we went over there and the checked rack. it out. And, yeah, we thought it was a rat. Yeah. And my mom was like, oh, my gosh, it's another baby squirrel. Because she found another one. But that one was dead because we didn't know what it was. And it was already too late. So, um, better hurry before this gets hot. So, this is kind of, yeah. <laughs> a tutorial like showing thing but um we have like this warm water why are you doing that I'll tell how we set up and um I'm just gonna set it up and she's gonna tell you how we set up okay. um okay so Katie set up this cage great when she's such a freaking like I don't know she, she thinks outside of the box so there's this wood thing right here and I don't know if you can kind of see it, but on this wood thing we put a heating pad, and then we put the towel over the heating pad, and then we put another towel, um, and now they're inside, and so the heating pad's hot because when the scrolls, if they're cold, it's not good. They need body heat, and we kind of, you know, throw this on top of them, not like throw it like boom, but we just kind of just kind of sit on top of them. They don't get suffocated, you know, their mom sit on them. This one is the boy. Okay. <laughs> he has his eyes open all ready. I think when he was falling, his eyes just opened. And he came such a long way. He's actually starting to like move around more. Bemo. She named him Bemo. Yes, after the Adventure Time character. Um, I will show you how to tell if they're boy or girl. She found this out. If they have this little object sticking out. It means it's a boy. And yeah. and they're very skinny and they're both dehydrated. So we're you know, we saved them. We're saving them hopefully. This is the girl which did not fall, but the boy did fall. Her eyes are not open. Um, we're really hoping that we can save her, but she's more dehydrated. And how you can tell if it's a girl is it'll just be flat. There won't be. Yeah, like it's you. You'll know from boy or girl. Trust me, it's not that hard to tell. Like you don't even need a video to tell. You have two, and both of their uh, privates are different. Uh, so you're gonna either need two syringes that do not have the needle, just in case if somebody thought that we have a needle. This is actually like cooking syringes so it's not pokey it cannot hurt them the best way to feed it to them is if you do it like this because you have more control of how much food comes out instead of just doing like this because odds are your thumb is just gonna go wham this is the type of formula that Katie's awesome mom found um, and it's kitten formula and we got this from tractor supply and then Katie found a really awesome video of how you can heat it up. Um, you're gonna probably have to put some more formula. Yeah. This um, is just for one animal though. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, that's really all you're gonna need. Should I make mine now, or is that mine? Okay. So this is how much we've been feeding them. And if it gets too cold, you can just stick it back in whatever you have it in. If the water gets kind of milky, I mean. It's milk and milk for them. So, the girl is named Sugar Plum. Katie's going to take care of the Sugar Plum right now because she's, you know, more endangered. 
I guess you could say. But, um, yeah, let me put him back. By the way, I'm just warning you right now, it's going to be a long video, so. Okay, I have to heat up. Okay. So come here. Yours is already heated. Come here, Bella. 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 Okay. There he is. He's so freaking cute. You're so cute. You know that, Bella. You're so cute. And then, if they want to open up their mouth, they'll open up their mouth. And they come some, sometimes do get scared, by the way. He actually has his, his mouth open and actually eating. The girl actually has to be fed specially because she's so young. And she's so young and she's a lot more dehydrated than Emo. I'm not going to feed him straight after you. You know, like, I'm not going to, like, chug and let him chug it because I want it to digest. And Katie, I think he's, like, it's starting to get some fluid. Backing him to him. He's so excited. There we go, Bimo. And he's starting to eat more earlier when we fed him. He was not barely eating. They just need a little sleep. And his body heat. Okay. Here's the girl. She didn't really show you the girl's, um, junk. But... Yeah, that's how you tell if it's a girl, and she is very dehydrated. This is how you tell you, um, lightly pinch the skin, and if it stays up like that, I don't know if you can tell it, she's like really... Oh, you're licking me! <coughs> Sorry. See, and it stays up, that means that he's... Or she's dehydrated. Hopefully she'll eat because she has... Oh my god! He's licking me! This is just such a proud moment. I'm sorry for freaking out on y'all. Look, she's eating. <gasps> and this is very special for Sugar Plum to be eating, y'all. I'm sorry, Bomo. I need to heat up your formula. Oh, I just got her everywhere. But it's okay. Okay, some milk is going to have to get me. Some um... Bomo is definitely still hungry. It's but Bimo. Bimo, Bomo, whatever. You can eat the camera, but really. Yeah. You can tell how, like, she's not wanting it, but she has to eat it. Like, I'm not trying to force feed her or anything, but she really needs it. We don't know how long they've been abandoned. And when a, the mama squirrel finds out that they've been on the ground and they're dehydrated, the mama will not save them. The mama will leave. And we've done a lot of research here on YouTube. And, like, um, Google and stuff. Is it BMO or BOMO? BMO. Okay. I'm sorry. It's you're probably like, you don't even know your own squirrel's name. This is actually technically her squirrel, but technically, but the worst, but technically she's staying here. We're both taking care of it, and so it's kind of like both of ours, but it's really Katie's. You do have to have a license for this. So don't think you don't. Are you, um, are you done? My mom actually has a license, so... Try to call the cops on this. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna give him a little break while I talk. Work up your appetite. Here, get back to the Um. Uh, Y'all, this is a very proud moment because she's eating. She's like getting so cute. But, I mean, you know, you gotta do what you gotta eating. do. Because she was like. <clears throat> she's like, um. Like, every time I put it to her mouth, she's like, turns her head. And I'm not starving, Bimo, by the way. I'm just See, letting the syringe head. heat back up. Because they normally don't want cold food. And you're still hot. Cold. You're cold. <clears throat> so let it heat back up, I guess. She, is, she hasn't even opened her eyes yet. Can't tell. But it's so weird because other people, when they talk about that they're feeding their squirrels, they're eating so much, and ours won't eat that much, and so we're kind of worried. And we don't know the answer about it. Um, mm -hmm. This one looks. I'm just gonna give it a little guess. I'm just gonna say about four weeks. Another squirrel to sell. Not a baby. <laughs> squirrels are everywhere out here, by the way. She was out the country. I'm gonna let Nemo walk around. 
I will let her walk around, but she doesn't really walk yet. She can't see. He knows. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm sorry if you guys get really bored of this. I probably just drowned with him. Not really, y'all. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you can never do that. Never in my mm -hmm. life would I want to do that to my Bimo. My name's Jelly Biscuits. And we don't know if we're gonna let them go when we get when they get old enough. Just because, you know, Katie gets attached. We do. Look what you're going to have to do, buddy. Okay, well, she's not eating, so I am going to give her, like, about an hour and then try to feed her again. You're supposed to feed them every two to three hours, and I don't want to get her, like, stomach busted if she is getting... Yeah. Um, but I definitely will videotape it whenever I put... whenever I get them situated, and she opens her eyes. Whenever she opens her eyes, that's going to be... Very fun. Um, <clears throat> can I just squirt this out the window? Um, no. What about the window? I was going to keep it in here. Oh, okay. We're just going to leave it. back up. Oh, um, I got little Bimo. You want me to get, put the girl back in the cage? Is that? Yeah. Sugar Plum! By the way, I named her. Sorry. This is okay. You don't even know. You don't even know either. I don't want a video of this. Use them a lot. Anyway, okay. So if you're wondering how to look, you see how she's like twisting the nipple? Yeah, but I already tried that. So oh, she tried to bite me. What are you doing? I'm just cleaning it out because it has a lot of milk in it. I mean, it's not like it matters, but you don't want there to be milk everywhere. Um, can I eat dog milk? You know, some people feed them oatmeal and dog milk. And bananas will work too, um, if you're wondering what they eat. But bananas, um, they do not drink cow milk or like any kind of milk like that. But you definitely want to get like some type of baby type of milk. You also want to get, if you can, try to get smaller syringes and the ones that don't have protection on the outside because soap will get in that little tube right there. and. Trust me, they will freak out if they taste soap. Okay, um, so at 7.19, should we feed them at 8 o'clock? Uh, yeah. We still have a lot extra. So, I mean, they're pretty, e they're eating pretty good, at least Bimo. Oh, by the way, this is like their little handy pack. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Sorry, this is such a long video. Okay, um, peace, love, and happiness. Bye.